Going to be doing a hairdryer video. This is a hairdryer I've had for a while. My hair's a bit of a mess because I come out the shower. Let's see how well it can dry and neaten me up. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. This here is a Philips Active Cool 1650 hairdryer, type HP4362. It has a 1650 watt heating element and it is made in Singapore. I've had this probably for, I've probably had this since 2016 and I completely forgot to review it. It was stuck inside one of my boxes and I've had loads of hair dryers since. So it's like, it's kind of got lost in the archives, but I use it all the time. It is one of the most powerful hair dryers that I have, um, being a 1650 watt. Most of the other ones have a 1200 watt. 1400 watt, um, I've even got a 1500 watt Carmen one, but this is one of the most powerful, I think it is the powerful hairdryer I've got. Um, it has two speed settings here, and it's also got three heat settings. It's got cold or cool, and then warm and hot or low and high. And I do like the idea of the buttons being like this. Very easy to grip and just pull down. It's also quite small, as you see, in comparison to my hand, it's quite um, I don't know if it would have been classed as a travel hair dryer, but it is quite small. The only annoying thing is that there doesn't seem to be a way to remove the filter at the back. So I don't even see that there is actually some fluff in there. So you've got to try and dig through that. Um, that's the only problem with it. However, it's very easy to hold. I do like the fact it has got this hook on the bottom there. Um, so that's good if you're storing it on hooks like that. That's what I ideally want to do with my hair dryers. And it's got a fairly long cable to it. Um, again, it was from British Heart Foundation, and as you can see here, it has passed the pack test, although that was, I don't know, September 2017 that's come from. Okay, still though, six years nearly I've had it. Um, so I'm gonna do a little video of it, see how well it works, because it is really powerful. Um, the only thing I might not be able to do is do the temperature test. Although I don't think some people want to know exactly how hot a hairdryer is and you're putting that close to your head. Uh, I know that I certainly don't really <laughs> want to know that, like, sort of how much it's... But, you know, it's it works the same way as everything. It is a little bit loud because it has got a very powerful fan motor to it. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a way to figure out how much power the motor uses. All I know is just it's 1650 watt, but it doesn't say how much the, that's... I believe 1650 watt is the is the heating element, but it doesn't say how much the uh, motor, unless it's maybe like 1500 watt heater and it's like 1650 uh, watt motor. I don't know how, how it works with measuring this, but they don't put the motor on there. So we'll just see how it goes. I like the way the cord is just straight through the bottom as well. Let's give that a go. Uh, do lower your volume because the microphone is here, so it might, you know, come out from there quite loud. Let's have a look. We're all plugged in, we're ready to go. Let's start off on low speed and low heat. Or oh, no, low speed and cool will do. So it's a bit quiet at first. Now, on the even on the on the cool setting, you actually get a bit of heat. Unlike other hair dryers where it's just the fan motor blowing air, you do actually get a slight bit of heat. So it's like a mild setting or lukewarm. Nice sound to it though. I love this. Hear that? I love that sound. If I do that on high speed, this is turbo power. Oh yeah, that's warm. That's a warm setting that is. That's enough to dry your hair. So 
so yeah, that's uh, if my hair's warm from that. So that's like a bit crazy that one is. Um, I'm gonna do low speed and low heat. The only thing I won't do is I won't be able to do low speed and high heat because it gets super hot and needs good airflow for that. So, so low speed and low heat. Oof, that is hot already, so I wouldn't dare. Oh my god, that's really warm that is. That's just the low heat setting, which is a bit crazy. Can't even look at it here. Like that there is enough to get my hair dry. Wow. It's like it's like stepping outside into the heat. Right, right. Now that, that's the setting that I'll always dry my hair on. The high, the high heat setting is like unbelievable. <laughs> Lime. You probably see my face is going red from how hot this is. I can't even imagine what the second setting is going to be. So annoyingly, I had to artificially wet my hair again because this was so powerful it dried my hair. Right, now we're doing, um, I'll just see if it's safe to put it on low heat and, it's like low speed and high heat because there's a chance it might actually trip itself. Um, it, it gets that hot. So, that's low heat. There, that's already hot. So, obviously don't want to melt the camera. That's high heat, and that is, Jesus. I don't know if you, you can see this. Lo I'm gonna lower the volume for you, but very quickly, look at this. That is the heating element glowing, so. Go up to high, that's high heat and high speed. I can tell you something. It's like being stood behind the engines of a Boeing 777 on takeoff. It's like jet blast. It's like, it's like being next to Concorde with the afterburners. Bloody hell. This is how your clothes feel in a washer dryer. And my hair is already dry. It's unbelievable how hot that is. You know what? It's so hot that what I do is I put it on the cold setting afterwards um, just to let it cool the hair dryer down a bit before I put that in storage next to clothes or something and blast my hair with that. And it's unbelievable how hot that is. You know what, for the sake of this video, because of how hot that is, I'm actually going to measure the temperature. I know I don't normally do that. Well, I think I might have done, but this one, I need to measure the temperature. Because how red my face has got. Whew, that is one very hot hairdryer. Got the infrared uh, thermometer here. On low heat. Right, so off. Is about 39 in there, yeah? Turn off the. Yeah, I'll see that better. 39 in there. With no heat while well, the low setting. About 45 degrees, so. Yeah. 
focus on one of the coils of the heating element. Aha, uh -huh, I think I found the one that... Yeah, I think I found the one that's energizing. So 51. Right. Low heat setting. So you can see. Low heat. Oh my god. Jeez. 151 degrees that is that that's the low heat setting. Yeah, between there's also 106, 111 I'm getting. What was that? 154 I just got there. Yeah, 121. So it, it kind of differs whereabouts on the element it is. Okay. Now is what's going to get really hot. That's on maximum heat now. Try and hit a part where it's glowing red. Oh. Well, I got a hundred. 181 I got 201 degrees let's get on to high speed let's get the airflow going a bit hundred eighty with the that's with the You can actually see the elements probably from there glowing red. Oh god! <laughs> right, in, right in my face that was. So I've got to aim it to the side of me so I don't actually get the heat. What's the highest reading I could possibly get? Two hundred and thirty five degrees, I think I can get hotter than that. Yep, two hundred and forty six degrees. Let's get a photo of that before it goes off. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a blast on cold. Um, I recommend that as a tip to anyone before they put their hairdryer away in storage, is just give it like about maybe a minute or so blast on cold setting if you've been using it on the high setting for a while, because the whole casing of the, while it's plastic, because it's, uh, it, it's insulated, but... Um, while it's plastic, it still gets hot enough for you to put it near like a combustible material. Like you might keep it next to cosmetics, you might keep it next to clothing. I mean, like I keep my drawers, so that could easily catch fire because a lot of heat remains in there. So just put it on a cold setting anywhere from about 30 seconds to a minute, as long as you feel it get colder. Some hair dryers cool down quicker than others. Now I know this heats up, is when I block the exhaust at the back, I can feel it get hotter. There's a burning as well. Always make sure that bit's clear. That's fine. Yeah, that's down to a moderately cool temperature. Right, so that was my Philips Active Cool 1650 HP 4362 hairdryer. Uh, presum presumably it's a travel hairdryer, not sure, I'll have to look it up. Fortunately, no it is actually a travel hairdryer. Travel hairdryers are often that size. Or maybe it's just a compact hairdryer. Some travel hairdryers don't come with um, multi plugs on them. This might just be compact. However, what I can say about it is I don't know when it was made because there is no number on here to give anything about it. 
all I can presume is, is maybe it looks very 90s to me, very sort of late 90s, maybe early 2000s, I'm not sure, probably late 90s or something, um, because that is literally all I've got on the rain sticker. I'll have a little look up, maybe a bit on the dates. But, um, yeah, it's a very good hair dryer, as you can see, it <laughs> dried my hair very quickly. Um, I quite enjoy using it, and it's easy to store away because it's smaller. I've got some other hair dryers that have got very long um, uh, ch uh, heat chambers to them, and it's that that, that canal there is just very like it's long to keep away. So yeah, um, it's done well though, and it will continue to be in my collection for as long as I as long as I know. Um, and I certainly just wrap it up like that. I love doing that to hair dryers at the end, wrapping it up. And then look at that, easy to store. Right, hope you enjoyed that guys. There's a little break between the washer videos. Um, hopefully we'll be getting some more videos of the end that done. It's just trying to find time because it's a washer dryer, so it means that to film it, it's uh, it takes even longer because of the drying cycle. So I've got to sort of have a day where I can actually film. It's not just like there's a new where I could stick it on whenever. Um, we might be doing the flash clean cycle next because that's a bit of a quicker cycle. And yeah, see how it goes. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.